What is lightweight foam concrete? Well, as much as it sounds, it's concrete made from foam. It actually sounds kind of impractical when you describe it like that, but in reality, it's pretty cool. The idea is, is that you make suds, but suds that are really, really dense, kind of like a shaving cream, and then you add glycerin to that to help stabilize it, make those suds last a really long time, and then you mix some Portland cement in with those suds, and before the suds all break down and go away, the concrete has a chance to chemically actuate from the hydration and harden, so you can actually make basically a solid block of concrete bubbles. There are a lot of different things you could use to make lightweight foam concrete, or aircrete as some people would call it. The number one, I think across the board, everybody would agree, the product of choice is this Drexel FM160. So this product here is what you would use, like if you've ever seen like a bubble party or something like that where they fill a room with suds. It's probably this product that they're using in the machines that they use to generate all of these suds. And in addition to that, you can add a product called vegetable glycerin, and that helps to stabilize the suds. So not only can you make them, and you make them really dense, you make them last a really long time, which is important because the cement needs time to set up and hold everything in place. If all the suds break down before the concrete has a chance to harden, then it's not going to work at all. Drexel is a great product and probably the number one product you should be using if you're looking at doing anything serious with aircrete. But what if you just wanted to try, maybe experiment a little bit with it without investing as much as you would have to for some of the Drexel products? There's a lot of stuff you could use. You could, you could actually use shaving cream. That's one of the things you could use. But a concentrated liquid dish soap like this one here, or there's a lot of other brands that you could try to use, these would be a really good option. You mix that with a vegetable glycerin and you're going to get really dense shaving cream like bubbles that do last a long time. They will be inferior to the Drexel product, but then again you're probably not building a foundation for your home here. So having a way that you can try to experiment with Aircrete for probably 10% of the money of buying the professional grade products is certainly worth trying for most people. When you're making the liquid component that you're going to use to generate the suds for Aircrete, you want to use a 40 to 1 ratio for a liquid soap product like this. So that's going to be about 2 cups into 5 gallons of water. In addition to the 2 cups of liquid soap, you'll also be adding 2 tablespoons of vegetable glycerin to the 5 gallons of water. A professional grade product is going to cost you more money to buy, but it's probably going to last you longer as well. This product you'd only use about a half cup per 5 gallons of water. There are some additional factors that will affect how well you're able to generate suds for making aircrete, like how much calcium there is in the water supply that you're using to make the suds with. But for the average enthusiast who's making ornamental concrete, I think that pretty much any suds that you can get, if they look like shaving cream suds, then you're good to go for trying to make some aircrete with that. Making concrete out of foam or suds is certainly one of the less common applications that I've heard of for concrete, but it just shows you how deep the world of concrete is because there is a lot of different stuff that you can make when you start looking at the different ty types of cement, the di different types of aggregates, the different types of admixtures that you can add to it. It is a really deep and fascinating world. Of all of the different ways that I know how to make concrete or mortar products, I have to say that aircrete or using foam as an aggregate to make concrete, that's pretty interesting.